Today, I turned 20. This is a short film about the last 12 months. I filmed a lot of it. My mom used to take photos of everything, and then she'd sit at the kitchen table and she would put them all together in a scrapbook. She would write descriptions on the pages of the moment she had captured for us to remember when we were older. This last year, I filmed a lot of my life. Much like a scrapbook, I wanted to put together a short film of what I experienced in the last 12 months. The moments, the people I've met, the places I've gone, and really everything in between. So this, this is Knowing 19. 19 began in another country, in a three-story flat in England with a bunch of girls. All 14 of us crammed in one flat, sharing one kitchen, and most of the time, not more than three forks. But it became routine. We woke up, we cleaned, we did school. We simply did life together. They saw me filming and looked at me really weird. Really windy! Well guys, another great day to be alive. It was honestly a place I'll never forget living, and I'll always consider moving back there. I've been packing all morning, headed to Broom Browning with some friends right now. Phew. Oh, we leave in two days. But after four months, the semester was over and we all parted ways back home. I think it's fully hit us yet that we're leaving. And we've been here for four months, but we're leaving in less than an hour. We're on the plane. We'll take off soon. Three and a half hours. We're landing in Atlanta. Last plane. I was home for a full month before I went up to Seattle, but I didn't film anything on my big camera, and my iPhone ended up getting stolen. So I just have these photos. I spent a lot of time with people, new and old friends, my family, investing in radical community, and being intentional with the relationships for the time I had. So honestly, that brings us here. I packed up my car and we got in, and we drove for a week. It's 5 a.m. We're about to leave. All right, guys. Being in Big Sur. Only like 15 minutes late, not too bad. An hour and 40 minutes from Big Sur. Basically been dodging rock slides for the last like 10 miles. We're just dodging death. No worries, mom and dad, I'm totally fine. Our snack arsenal is a real thing. <laughs> rock, look at this. Dang! Nico, it was pretty scary with those rocks, huh? Woo! It's windy. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> we were able to stay with a few friends as we headed up the west coast. Gate, what is this, park? Uh, no, it's Crazy Field. Oh, okay, we're at Crazy <laughs> Field. I don't know anything. Got into Oregon, started to get some gas, put in the, you know, did my normal thing, and then the guy comes out and is like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, we're here! <laughs> I think after driving for like, Ten hours, I never want to drive again. All right, Michaela, it's been so good seeing you. What do you have to say for this? Uh, it's just been great. It's been a great time. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're finally in Seattle for good. After Nico had flown out and the semester had begun, it honestly was a pretty dreary time. But then I headed home for spring break and things started to look up. Hi guys, it's a crazy sunny day here. I'm wearing a dress. All my Seattle peeps be jealous. Mom's stoked. Hey, EDD, is that you? Oh my, I follow you on Instagram. Trudy, my doctor's telling you not to have gluten and dairy. What do you do? You eat gluten and dairy. <laughs> so now we have this entire box of like 30 donut holes and a bunch of donuts to go pray over people. Okay, let's do more for like God's kingdom. Let's you know, go on this adventure with the Lord. And so I was like, okay, let's go to Biola Pier people and like hand out donuts, right? Oh, God's Caitlin. Uh, adventure with them. Yeah, now I'm gonna go to sleep for 18 hours. Bye. Thank you, God. You're awesome. After I'd gotten back from spring break, I was invited to go on a one-week road trip down to Marietta. Oh, yeah. 
noisy. So we took a week off of school and we just had fun. Yeah. Hey guys, Caitlin's cleaning the car because it's so nasty. Um, what time is it? All right, guys, it's 12:26. I'm gonna try and knock out on this bench seat. It's 6 a.m. We're just trying to survive right Wait, now. Is this our so 22 and a half hours later, we're finally getting off the freeway. Yes. Yep. Skating burks is never a good idea. <laughs> These are the only shoes I've brought, so. We're in Oregon. Mechanic. Die. We're all gone. Dude, there's so much pressure in my lower belly area right now. Stuck in traffic, we're like an hour away from Portland. Soon after we got back, a bunch of things worked out and I was able to buy my ticket to go to Nepal in June. I was able to be a part of some really fun events that our church put on, and then I got in my car to drive home. Alright, it's 4am. We're packing up to go. Alright guys, it's just daylight, it's 5.52 a.m. It's going to be a long day. We're here in Red Bluff, in my car. I'm going to take a nap in the back seat. This is the life, honestly. Somehow, another four months had just passed by. I got home and I spent two weeks with friends and family and more community and just diving into what the Lord had for me. And then I hopped on a plane for 36 hours of travel, and I went to Nepal for two weeks. Soaked out of my mind. Well, that was fun. I just got a ride from a guy named Samuel on the back of his motorcycle. Reporting live for Bar Park. I really have to pee. But there's no toilet. We're currently stuck here in the mud. No problem. We've got a tractor coming to our rescue. The best way to explain this trip is that I literally felt my heart shifting gears. I came back to the States with an idea of what my purpose was. 36 hours later, finally home. Praise God. Yay! A day after I got home from Nepal, I got a tattoo of a silver fern on my arm. And then I hopped in a car with my dad and we drove back up the west coast to finish an internship that I had committed to until the end of December. I'm here in Crater Lake and the mosquitoes here are so gnarly, like huge, worse than Nepal. Didn't think that was possible. Sick. Then my dad left, hopped on a plane, and flew back down to Orange County while I slept on the floor for a few weeks until I got a bed. I went to Canada and to Portland, and I tried to get a job. I actually applied to seven jobs, but none of them opened up. And then this happened. Hi guys. So I am posting a video today because I got an incredible opportunity to go to Nicaragua for one week. And it made sense why all the doors had been closing for me to not be able to get a job. God had opened the door to Nicaragua. So in my car, I'm going to pick up Sarah at the airport. I gotta give you a hug! Then my friend Sarah from New Jersey came to visit for a wedding and we went on some crazy adventures. Cold brew. Yeah! This is Sarah. I'm actually gonna drive down to Geek Harbor tonight after my roommate's birthday, so that'll be fun. Guys, it's 12:40. We've been up just chatting. And then she flew back. 4:56 a.m. I just dropped um, Sarah off at SeaTac, and it's pretty crazy because I'll literally be back here in 10 days um, to head to Nicaragua. So. It is five, almost 5.15.
And Sarah and I drove a thousand miles in the last like three days. So it's been pretty wild. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I got fully funded to the exact dollar to go to Nicaragua. Update with the craziest hair of my life. I'm fully funded. And my family came up for a few days. And then after my family flew out, only a few days later, I flew out to Nicaragua. We are here in the Miami airport. Our flight boards in like 10 minutes, so. Hey guys, so we're about to get on a bus and go to the soccer game in where Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. in the beautiful city. Okay, oh, we're getting screamed at. We almost died. <laughs> Two days later, all of the Bible college students came and we moved them in. And then we spent a weekend in the wilderness with them. While I was there swinging in a hammock, I booked a flight to Louisiana while the great floods had just hit, and I went to go cover media for a week with a nonprofit called All Hands. I had no clue who I'd meet or how it would go, but I just went. I was there for four days and then I flew back. And an hour after I got back, I headed out to the junior high camp to help lead with the kids. It seemed like no matter what I did, God was unfolding more and more of the purpose that he had created me for. <laughs> A friend from Orange County moved up to Seattle, so we hung out. Then I just spent time with the Bible college students and we explored the city together. Yeah. We are in downtown Seattle. I've never been and I'm so excited. I went to an amazing concert, and that night my friend Heather flew in, on her way back from Louisiana. The next day, we went to the forest and explored and filmed stuff. And then the next morning, we both flew back to Orange County. I ended up getting sick the day I arrived home. It's been a rough few days. Guys, I just woke up, but today is a big day. <laughs> okay, guys. Huge moment in my uh, going into the camera store. Let's do it. While I was home, I was funded for my camera. Yeah, super so the weekend after I got back up to Seattle, I drove down to Portland and bought my camera. God is so faithful. All glory. Yeah. Does anyone know about this? <laughs> I shot a friend's wedding and some fun projects with other friends. Have you guys seen 
in my car keys? And then I flew to Pennsylvania for a film job with Deeply Rooted Magazine. And after five days and a bunch of new girlfriends made, I got a ride over to New Jersey with a girl named Lori. Guys, look. God provided me a way to get to New Jersey. Hello! You're so cute! <laughs> Where are we going? We are going to Karen University to stay with some friends and then we're going to Philly next morning. And we'll our trains in 11 minutes. We're going to our train. <laughs> it's happening. Lauren! How many minutes? It's 9.05. What time is the train? 9.12. <laughs> this is definitely how every morning has gone so far, but I think we're going to make it. We'll make it. I stayed with Sarah and B for a week and it was like we were back in New York together. We went to Philly and New York City, and it was overall just a great time of friendship. Hello. Hi. Bye. Here we go. Go on, take it off, mommy. But then I flew back to Seattle. After I got back, I worked a lot on editing and getting some projects done. Trump needs six votes. Donald Trump just became president. Then a girl named Lauren Marie came to Seattle, who I knew through Instagram, and we went on a crazy adventure to La Push, Washington, all the way to the coast. One of the greatest things I've learned from social media is that if you're not afraid to meet new people, you can meet a lot of amazing kingdom-minded friends. And that's what happened that day. The next day I went on a hike with my roommate, Isabel. Thanks to my amazing roommates, this morning went like this.
sunshine. Let's go, sunshine. Put some clothes on. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Let's get to know 20 together. 